Hey guys, it's your boy. We're back with more Malchet content, diving into the pre-update APK once more for the Hulk update. And this video is about testing out the ABX comparison between the Namor, naked Namor without the uniform, and Hulk Amidius Cho. Now Hulk definitely got a big boost that we are talking APX now. He he was just Shadow Land character. And I tried building those characters exactly as same. The team ups we are gonna be using She Hulk, the new She Hulk with the bulky She Hulk. She looks awful <laughs> she, she looks awful uh, with, which actually gives 65 percent to male types which is crazy and then for a media show abomination lead is gonna be the best team up because uh, it gives 60 percent to combat types so 60 percent all attack from the leadership to combat types plus for the gamma radiation allies for the tier 2 passive it gives extra 20 percent chained damage when attacking and extra 45 percent damage increase to villain types on top of that with this team up we are getting 45 percent more towards the villain types that's 90 percent damage uh, just by the passives and 60 percent from the leadership the this is crazy this is this is a really really gross i mean really amazing really dope team up although on the other hand namor loses a lot without the uniform so definitely it could be a really good comparison although there is one thing that i want to mention i uh, i will mention in the uh while i when we actually go for the build so let's go for the build and try to uh, i try to build them to the max i mean to build them to actually exactly the same stats max is not important for the pre-update apk so we have Max kill cooldown, max signal defense. After that, 157 critical damage, 43 critical rate, 38 dodge, and 127 attack speed. Now for the stats page, if you go here with my name or skill cooldown, ignore defense is maxed out. 157 critical damage, 42 crit rate, 38 dodge, and 127 attack speed. So almost, almost exactly the same stat because that's that's the best way to compare those characters, right? For the Odin's Blessings or Urus, I gave him four of the Will Odin's Blessings, Physical Attack, Skill Cooldown, I'm, and there is no other Physical Attack Uru or something like that. On the on Abidius Cho, uh, we have uh, four of these, uh, four of those Will Awaken uh, Odin's Blessings, and then nothing else. Exactly, does not want, and I wanted uh, those to exactly have same stats. Now for the skills, all skills are level six. Rotation, I will talk about in a bit, and then we have all skills level six here as well. Tap enhancement, no rank four, and then we do not have ISO eight set on Nemo. This will boost Namor's score much more. Definitely 45, 40% 40 uh, all attack is no joke. And it actually will increase Namor's scores a lot. Uh, I mean, definitely considerably. So keep that in mind. And a CDP of Rage. Now, my uh, Hulk Media show has a fully, sorry, do not have any overdrive as well he does not have so i think i don't even remember i built some character i don't know who so yeah okay he does not have so the scores will improve so almost exactly the same thing exactly the same iso set i mean no iso set is the same iso set i don't know with a cdp of rage uh zero type enhancement but that actually does not matter much for abx now for the rotation i am not going to talk about uh, uh, namor so we'll go just go for the hulk media show we, because we already know how namor goes and i will explain in the rotations in the video in the runs as well so the way i found that you can see here uh now when he when he uh when he's when he just about to punch those enemy that's why that's when you actually get the accumulation uh when damage dealt to enemies right so you want to cancel the skill right there right there so we're going to cancel that into right and then four we'll go four or you can go five four or four five both do great damage right there hopefully the proc will activate and that is actually one of the best uh, one of the worst thing that i found with the hulk media show that the proc is not activating as much as should be first thing skill six skill i am going to be using six skill when the proc light is off so just to get the proc on the six skill because i want the juicy damage because this is uh, how he gets the most of the damage and we will try to get the proc on the six skill as well as the fourth and five skill if possible sometimes it does not happen but definitely uh, proc is not uh, in our in our in is proc is actually not something we can actually control sometimes so we'll go for the run now and we'll see who is the best combat uh who is actually gonna be the meta or is uh, namor is gonna be the same meta or hulk show is gonna be the same meta so we'll go 
So let's go for the first team up. We're gonna be using the Hulk, uh, sorry, the She-Hulk, Valkyrie, and Namor. The rotation is simple as we have talked millions of times. We're gonna be starting off with four cancel, five cancel, three, cancel one, cancel two. Now I think in this, I think I messed up the fifth skill and I used the fifth skill because I canceled the fourth skill a little bit too early. So we're gonna be starting off with the four, five, three, one, two. So yeah, let's 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 get to business. Let's get to business. So switch to him. Right there, I cancelled that a little bit early, I shouldn't have. And then two, three, and when three seconds left on the... I want the proc right now. We got the proc, three, and then five cancel tier three. Cancel the tier three into the first skill. And I always do that. I always wait for the fifth skill for the first tier three to get to around. And we, we need to do five cancel three. And that's good because as soon as now, when we do the third skill, tier three will be ready right there. So these, these are some points that you might want to actually hold off. First thing, if you have, uh, I, I think around six seconds left on your fifth skill timer, and you know, right now, I, I am doing just, just because I want to. I want the proc, I want the tier 3 animation uh, around the around the 5th skill. Because I know, whenever I use the 5th skill, and I think every 3 rotations or every 2 rotations, you will get your tier 3 activated with your with your fifth skill so you want the f you want to actually use the fifth skill with the proc and i think i missed the proc right there you want to use your fifth uh, fifth skill uh, around uh, i think around th three seconds left on the fifth skill well do that and the proc should be activated at that time and i always do that i always activate the proc when there is three seconds left on the fifth skill so that i will still have two seconds remaining after i use my fifth skill so i can get my tier three skill under the rage proc and i i do that a lot and i i don't actually pay much attention to the proc uh, a lot of times I mean, sometimes I do, sometimes I have to. I mean, you know, you do, you definitely need to get those right skills into the into the proc. Now, definitely, I am tr I'm gonna try to activate the proc nicely. So, if you activate the proc after this one, nicely, we got the tier three skill under the proc, and this is what we want. We want the tier three skill under the proc, no matter what. And also, one more thing to actually keep in mind with the with the without uniform Namor, the naked Namor, is that when you use the when you use your when you use your your uh, fifth skill you will see uh, it will actually ha have this one so now the whales are gonna come right there and will land on the center of that bubble or the center of that watery arena right so you want the beast to stay in the center or around the center of that because right there this the damage from the from the whales helps a lot it does not do tons of damage but it helps if you can combine that those whales with the rage proc uh with with some other skills uh you can actually get much more uh, out of your namor from the damage and actually some of the things that you can actually always modify the rotation in between if you think the proc is not active i sometimes do that as well but that's okay and i'm i think i'm gonna miss the proc yeah i miss the whole proc what the hell the proc did not activate jesus that was that was crazy so almost 2.2 uh really nice score not a bad score at all so it's time to go for the hulk team up with abomination lead uh valkyrie and Amidius show hulk let's see how it goes for the rotation i tried and this proc proc uh, issue does not go anywhere so the rotation that we're going to be using is third skill as soon as he's about to punch because then you will have your accumulation on so we will go three cancel six get the proc on the six skill second and then four cancel five or five cancel four no matter what skill you do you just need those skills under that right there we cancel that get the proc on the awakened skill and the barrier definitely is going to affect that so we're going to use jesus the proc did not activate in the whole almost the whole awakened skill so we did lose some damage right there that's crazy but one more thing to actually uh notice is that you can see i just got four cancel five and i got the uh, proc on the uh, fifth skill at the start of the fifth skill i sometimes also do something crazy that uh, Jesus, you can see that those are so many hits and even after so many hits, the proc just does not activate, which is pretty crazy. And I tried one more thing. You can also try fifth skill to activate the proc and then as soon as he did, you will see. Uh, so let, let it go, let it go. Now, right there, you can cancel the fourth skill right there. It also is not activating the proc. I don't know why. 
even if the barrier is, is not up and uh, and his skills are i don't like his skills to be honest uh, they look amazing they do good but uh, the damage is good i'm not saying the damage is bad but the fact that they take two i mean they take like forever the fifth skill especially takes forever uh, to complete the first and second skill does not do any like next to they, they do no to next to no damage and third skill you are not even going to be letting it finish because if you finish it uh, you are actually wasting time on your fourth skill and the fifth skill so i do not i like never finish my third skill so right there it's about to go i i had to cancel i have to cancel or i'll lose a lot of points now the barrier definitely namor has an advantage right now because of the barrier because namor can pierce the barrier with the tier 3 skill and for i think 10 to 12 seconds if i'm not wrong but uh, uh amidius cho does not have that kind of penetration uh, on i think any of his uh, any of his skills so definitely that makes a difference so you can add around 200k to the points that i am going to be scoring with my mini chore here because i think 100k to 200 100 to 150k maybe uh, on the on the run you can actually add it so we uh, we just crossed 1.6 so pretty score a uh, really good score to be honest i i expected much much less uh, from amelia's show but he definitely is uh, looks really really nice and you can see the damage with the awakened skill is pretty nice not the best but definitely really good but one more thing 40 seconds to go 1.7 can we break i i do not think that we can break the namor score definitely it's barrier day so you can add more maybe 100k more so he looks to give namor a really tough fight probably he would be around the same level as captain america as captain america is right now and but definitely i think namor is gonna be better at least in this run and the other run as well because 2.2 uh was a good score we are i think we are only end up around 1.84 or 1.85 so by the looks of it uh namor is still better just a little better uh hulk uh amelia show is around the same level as captain america then it makes the value of abomination go down so you do not need to get abomination at least from this testing so he is definitely not a must buy i think from this testing and i will do more testing later so let's go so despite of having all the exact same stats no iso on both the characters cdp of rage same amount of odin's blessings and same exactly same stats namor reigns superior namor is super superior and we still don't know i am still gonna be doing more comparison if this team up uh, actually definitely so namor is definitely better than amidia's show amidia's show is pretty close to namor but not exactly as namor because the proc problem you would say hey proc did not line up this is exactly what is going to happen in the live update apk as well this is exactly how it's going to be and you will always have this problem so this is a compatible score and this is something and i tried multiple times probably six or seven times i got almost exactly the same score with my mini show and uh definitely he is better namor is better now another comparison that i want to do i want i would definitely like to show you guys will be if she hulk lead with the 65 percent male type characters is better than this team up i know not everyone has gladiator me neither and definitely gladiator will need actually uh cdp of rage to be better than this better than the she hulk team up although i would like to see if this team up uh, i mean after the five percent increase so 65 percent male type increase damage to male types if this team up is going to be better than this team up so just uh, keep an eye keep an eye on the content on post post, not uh, post notifications like comment subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and let me know what you guys think about the video let me know what you think about the comparison and as always if you like the content i hope to see you again take care see ya she looks horrible